went to some party mm. and then I like, get myself in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Got arrested. Sunday morning, you train Sunday with the match. I had a 23 match, my first 23 match on a Monday. Okay. But Sunday morning, I mean, you're meant to train. Yeah. I'm in a police station. I've dedicated my whole life up until that point yeah. to a sport, pushed my body and my mind to absolute limits. Yeah. And it actually didn't mean anything. You no, know, mentally, you know, I was, I was very difficult to, to, to live with. Mm. At that time, so not, not only have I got the football issues going on, but I'm starting to develop this problem gambling. I'm going back to the friends. Start waking up. You've been at the club 10 years, you see your mate down the road, he goes, I can't go any club. Not there anymore. And it takes a big character to tell someone that. And lucky enough, lucky enough, I've always had that. Of course. And I've always been brave enough to tell my mates I'm not there anymore. This season, we've gone from like just missing the pr um, promotion spot yeah to like they ended up nearly getting really relegated that season all in one season all and in you're one. putting it all on this new assistant oh 100 percent. okay because now he left and then now they were on top of the league mm. Mm. Of the worst assistant <laughs> to come against that worst assistant i've ever had get zoom in <laughs> so it was soul destroying it was absolutely, and you, it is cliche. You hear a lot of kids that haven't, that have come through the system, haven't come out the way they wanted it, and yeah. you know they break down and it's tough. And yeah. you know, a lot of the time in your head you think, oh, I just got to get on with it. But that it, it genuinely, genuinely, I was on the verge of proper depression, of course. and I never spoke about it. 